Yo, what's up? Dallas Cowboys Stadium Reunion. Back at it again. And see, these are the reasons why we started this channel. To combat a lot of this stuff that goes on in Cowboys Nation. Um, everybody already know yesterday was the Pro Bowl game. Um, again, players out there having fun. Long story short, the NFC was coached by a Cowboys uh, coaching staff. Um, and we scored only seven points. I think it ended up being 27 to 26 seven. to seven. Yeah. Uh, 26 to seven or whatever. The AFC won again. Um, I believe they won last year too, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's besides the point. Um, but this was the first time that we was going to get a glimpse of what the offense will look like under Keller Moore. And so I think a lot of Cowboys Nation was eager and excited to see what was going to happen. A lot of it because our coaching staff was coaching them. Um, and a lot of people was disappointed. Um, first of all, I just wanted to say this. This game is literally like powder puff, flag football type game. These call, guys are not out there actually competing. I call it a glorified flag football game. Yeah, it's, it's a, pretty much what it is. It's pretty much exactly. running seven on seven gr drills that you would do in practice. Yeah, it's, you know? it's a scrimmage game. Right. It's meant to have fun. Nobody's out there really trying to compete. Nothing is on the line. Players are playing out of position. They're there to have a good time and make an extra check and, you know, raise awareness for their certain high schools or charities or whatever the case may be. Uh -huh. That's what the Pro Bowl weekend is about, okay? Uh, a lot of people went into this expecting to see a whole lot going on or whatever. Keep in mind, okay, you're talking about you, you assembling players from the whole entire conference who've never played together, who haven't went to OTAs together. Uh, mini camps, yeah, training yeah. camps. They're not a team. And That's, you're putting yeah, them together. You, it's pretty much the best of the best when it comes to the Pro Bowl. Yeah, and, um, and now, it's a it's it's one of them games where you got players playing opposition. I mean, Zeke was playing pass rusher. I saw Alvin Kamara playing defensive end. Yeah. I mean, you saw, uh, I saw Mike Saquon Evans. was playing a pass rusher too. Uh, I mean, Mike he Evans. played safety at one point in the game. Right. Mike Evans, he was playing cornerback. He got an interception at one point in the game. So it's just, you know, I... You know, my uh, my roommate, uh, he was texting me, if this is like the Pro Bowl is our future uh, if, uh, if we don't do something now. And I'm, and I'm telling him, it's like, look, I'm not going to take too much stock into no. the Pro Bowl. The Pro Bowl, it is what it is, a glorified flag football game. And I told him that I'm going to reserve my judgment for next season. Not to mention. Our play, when we have our players yeah. uh, in the offseason where he can, when Kellen Moore can implement his uh, offensive game plan. You're not going to do that with players – you know, all of the NFC. Yeah. It's just not going to happen. They never, you know, just like you touched on, they've never played together. Yeah. They've never done drills together. There's no continuity there. There's no... And they're purposely camp. having fun. Right. It's a, it's a pretty much, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much a celebration of the game. Yeah. Like, like, come on. Uh, well, one good thing is Dak Prescott was the only one that scored the touchdown yeah. from the NFC side. Uh, I think Mitch Trubisky threw a pick. Uh, Russell Wilson threw a pick. Things of that nature. Um, but it was just a fun game all over. And then another thing I want to tell people. You look at the the plays that they was calling, and clearly those were still old Linehan plays. Right. Number number two, if, you're, if you have this hot new OC that nobody knows anything about, basically next season your offense can be – uh, completely unpredictable. Why, why you, would, why would you, you show that at the, the Pro, Pro Bowl? Bro. It doesn't. It doesn't that make that any wouldn't sense. make any sense because at that point, this is still film number one, and number two, you're showing the whole entire NFC and AFC your plans for next and year. Also, they're not going to do that. Come and, on. And also with the Pro Bowl game, you're also trying to come out of there with no injuries, no major injuries that would affect next season. Hence why, you know, on the first wrap up, they was the refs was automatically yeah blowing it dead yeah. And so it's like yeah, you're not gonna show. I don't know what people was expecting. I wasn't really expecting much from the Pro Bowl game because, like you said, they're still running Linehan's system. Yeah, you know, and they're not gonna put anything on film uh, for next season. Yeah, okay, uh, that's just the way it is. I'm gonna reserve my judgment for next season. You know, when we have our players in camp, yeah. trying to camp next season. That's that's me. Um, you can, but you know how people, you know how Cowboys fans are. Um, Eighty percent of them are emotional. Only twenty percent of them are logical. Yeah, shout out to Vach. You know, um, but it's the truth. It's the truth. It's like, come on, we gotta just 
buckle down, just wait for next season, wait for free agency, wait for the draft, and then we will finally see what this team is going to be next season. Right. But at the end of the day, it's like, guys, like, y'all got to stop tripping. Like, everything is not that major, okay? Right. Oh, Keller Moore sucks. Why are we giving a, a chance to a guy who hasn't proved anything? Uh, Sean McVay was a no-name guy, and now he, in his second uh, year as head coach, he didn't led his team to a Super Bowl appearance. Yeah, it's just like what, just like what guys says. You never know what guys are capable of until they are given a chance. Exactly. And so it's like, like I said, I'm gonna reserve my judgment, Kevin Moore, until I see the offense on the field, yeah. our players on the field. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna jump to conclusions because we already know what the Pro Bowl is. It's a Hollywood. You know, celebrity fest. It's a glorified. I mean, black shoot! Football. At halftime, they went in there and started eating ham sandwiches. Yeah, like <laughs> it's it's a it's, it's freaking it's, Brian Erlacher is like, yeah. Uh, uh, nobody really talked at the halftime. We was all eating. These guys <laughs> are hungry. It's been a long day. They, and then the ESPN lady was like, "What y'all was eating?" It's like, yeah, it's been a long day. This is not a true game. Mm -hmm. So everybody, calm down, buckle down. It's going to be okay. Stop. Wait, stop saying the worst is happening when it hasn't happened yet. It, like, watching the Pro Bowl uh, yesterday was like watching the NBA All-Star game. Right. It's pretty much no defense play. You know, basketball players having fun. They're doing crazy. They're doing crazy outlooks that they win the attempt in a real game. It's exactly. the same thing it's here. It's the same thing. So, it's like. Oh, and another thing that I want to say now that we're on the Keller Moore uh, uh, conversation or whatnot. Another thing that I want to bring up is this. People wanted Lenahan out of here. He's out of here, okay? Uh, besides Keller Moore and them picking somebody from within uh, the staff to uh, be promoted to that position or whatnot, it's really no other OC out there that would come in and make that big of a difference. Right. I, I, look, the only, it really isn't. Like, the only OC that they've contacted from what I heard was John DeFlippo. But he already got his. He already got taken up by another team, and all of the good OCs was already taken. They was know? already taken and because we was deep in the playoffs. But another thing with De, uh, Del Filippo, I'm like at the end of the day, he couldn't he couldn't get it to work up there in Minnesota. Well, yeah, there was a reason. With, that, you know, and I mean, people can say that it was scheme. Maybe the players he didn't have the right players and stuff like that. But we shouldn't always. I feel like as Cowboys fan, we always look out into what everybody else have and say, "Oh, why we don't have a Patrick Mahomes." Why we don't have a Von Miller? Why we don't have this? Why we don't have that? And we don't focus on the team that we got. Right. There's a reason why John DeFlippo got fired. He yeah. didn't run the ball enough with Davin Cook. Uh, he made some questionable plays. You know, you have, even though with Kirk Cousins, we can say what we want about Kirk Cousins, but when you have that amount of talent with Adam Thielen and Stephon Diggs, uh, a, a good run game with Davin Cook, a decent old line, you shouldn't be struggling at the eclipse they were struggling at. That's the reason why they got with him. And you saw the results. After they got with him, they start running the ball more. They start running the ball more effectively. Mm -hmm. And they was able to win a couple games down the stretch. I had it been the last one against the Bears. But it just shows you there's a reason why the flip -off got fired. Yeah. So I remember when he was a hot, you know, head coaching candidate when, you know, early in the season when Jason Garrett was 3-5. Yeah. And everybody... You know, including myself, that you know, thought the season was, was over. So thought the season was over, and it's like I'm thinking, okay, we're going to go into the next season when the new coach is there. So it just goes to show you that life changes fast in the NFL. Yeah, life changes quickly in the NFL. So everybody just needs to buckle down, settle down, and let's wait for next season. Let's wait. Let's wait for the calendar year to switch over to the next season, and then we'll start talking about this stuff then. Oh, and another thing, everybody that want to praise Chris Richard, I love Chris Richard. I said right when I found out that Chris Richard last year was coming um, to Dallas or whatever, I said he is going to be a game changer, and definitely he is. But uh, the NFC defense was coached by him too. Um, so with that being said, let's not just bring up uh, offense because they still gave up 26 points. Mm -hmm. Even Again, though, because it's a scrimmage so it's, game. And this is what I want people to see. Don't just look at, oh, we like Chris Richard because we see Chris Richard yelling. him. He even took this defense to another level. But then when we lose the game primarily because of the defense, we look at the offensive side of the ball just because we don't like that person. Or we look at the head coach just because we don't, don't like, like that person. person. Yeah. So, again, long story short, Cowboys Nation, just settle down, buckle up. Everything will be all right. Everything going to be all right. We're right? in the right direction. Exactly. Just chill out a little bit.